Hello and welcome back to God of War, played on Boosteroid. Today I decided we will try to complete all the little places that we have like one raven, one legendary chest, one undiscovered, stuff like that. That is needed to complete each place. So we will start with Vain to Vay to God. So in here, if I remember correctly, what we need is one artifact and one undiscovered. Which is probably some kind of a chest. Um, So for the chest, I think I know where we must go. Uh, let's see up there. We need to get there somehow. And for that, I think we can go in where we fought the giant. Wanna see something mm -mm 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 -mm. here, here, or here, or not? So I think it was somewhere here, and. Um, And the thing is, I missed this key earlier. <laughs> yes, we got the key, but uh, as you can see, I always go for the doors, not looking around if there's any mechanism to open them. Thank you. Now, hopefully, at the end of this path, we will have the last artifact. Please. Ah, fresh air feels good. No. Okay. So let's see. Come on, go now. Hmm. 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 Maybe it's more in the grass. Well, either way, this one I was sure that I missed something. And for this one, we'll just have to run around, so... I'm go
there. Why did you work for Odin if he's so horrible? It's my career. And if you mean to make your career as a counselor to kings, you can't very well rule out petty maniacs. Available positions are scarce enough. My first master was a cool piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy, an unofficial jester. And we'll pick this up later. Let's see my first job. Right. Me and my mates in the employ of a fairy king. By night, my mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows, they called us. Neighbors spikes to the last. We get up to all manner of mischief, making fools of the local mortals. But as long as our lord was kept amused, we were spared the consequences. <sighs> then one day he was not amused. And I saw fit to move on. Thankfully, the ages and roads traveled since then have turned me from that merry wanderer into the paragon of virtue you see before you today. Can you read it? This says, False Leader. I've seen it written all over this place. False Leader. Is this what Vandrir wrote about his father? Or what the crew wrote about Vandrir after he did not deny it? How'd you come to be in these lands? Lad, there comes a time in every man's life when he changes his name and heads north to make a new start. If you live long enough to do this many times over, you might end up as far north as this place. And we'll pick this up later.
This is it, right? The rock stool? I lied. The Council of Valkyries. The Valkyries are of Valhalla, are they not? Glad to see you're paying attention, brother. You are correct. Valhalla, the great hall of the Ain Heriar, is their home within Asgard. But while there, they are subject to the scrutiny of the Allfather himself. And relations between the Valkyries and Odin were tense during my tenure as his advisor. Why? Well, that's an even longer story, lad. For now, why don't we look around for some clues? Gunnar, mistress of war. After any conflict, big or small, she would be first on the scene, sussing out the worthy spirits for a free trip to Valhalla. A gruesome task, but she took great pride in it. Any conflict? Impossible. It's true. She had help from her sisters, of course, but Gunnar was always first to arrive. Her judgment of the fallen was unparalleled, and an invaluable resource to Odin. She was one of his favorites. Gondu. Beautiful Gondu. And? Huh? That's it? Beautiful Gondu? No story or anything? Uh, oh, sorry, lad. The sight of Gondu always took my breath away. Gondu had a silver tongue, a sharp wit, and struck a figure so stunning it literally drove men insane. Odin forbid her from setting foot in Midgard after a time, as insanity is not a welcome trait in Valhalla. This is none other than Gerdrifold, the master of arms in Valhalla, responsible for arming and training Odin's Inheria. His what? His army come Ragnarok. The entire reason Valhalla exists, you see. The Inheria wait in the Great Hall endlessly, feasting, drinking, and fa- Ah, uh, fornicating themselves silly. Once Ragnarok begins, Odin calls them into service to fight on his behalf. Gerdrifold had her hands full training that lot. This, my friends, is Kara. Now, Valkyries are volatile by nature, but Kara, the lass is Wild Storm personified. A wild Storm? Aye, calm and collected. Then the air would shift and the fury of her storm would unleash. It was beautiful in a way, assuming you could find proper shelter. Her tears would cleanse the blood soaked battlefields. This is Rota, a chooser of the slain. I thought all the Valkyrie did that. Not exactly, lad. Although that is what they're most famous for, and by far their greatest responsibility. You've seen what happens to the dead without the judgment of the Valkyries. Hellwalkers. That's right. Rota, Gunnar, Skuld. Without them to clean up the aftermath of battle, hell overflows with souls meant for Valhalla. A sorry state of affairs. Rota must be beside herself. We have Air, the healer. A Valkyrie healer? Strange. Air was strange, as a matter of fact. Very quiet, very calm. Where her sisters were violent rapids, Air was a gentle stream. She healed the wounds of both mortals and gods, and even a certain all knowing sage who once drank too much and fell off a mountain. Ugh, not my proudest moment. Once the daughter of a powerful chieftain. She fell defending him during a reaver attack. Orun was escorted to Valhalla, but she chose to devote her afterlife to the pursuit of knowledge above all else. 
quite unusual behaviour amongst the constant drinking and feasting of her fellow Valhallian denizens. How'd she end up with Valkyrie? Odin. He saw a kindred spirit in Olrun's single-minded pursuit of knowledge. He appointed her as a Valkyrie's resident historian. Something else. Another name. Rota! Another Valkyrie. That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tears Braziers? I still can't read these.
Okay, so I think for today we've done quite a lot. <laughs> and the next time I think we'll take care of the, all those towers that we can access currently. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.